Hi, my name is Melanie, and today I will tell you about our latest paper. One day, 66 million years ago, an asteroid plowed into what is now the Mexican Yucatan Peninsula. It caused a mass extinction that ushered in the end of the dinosaurs and forever changed the course of evolution on our planet. The 12 kilometer wide asteroid impacted with such velocity that a 150 kilometer wide crater was formed while molten earth rock was flung out into space. Outside the atmosphere, this molten rock crystallized in low gravity conditions before falling back to Earth as a hail of glass and rock. 15 minutes after the impact, in a river in North Dakota, this rocky precipitation had already started to rain down. Glass droplets hit the water and began to clog the gills of foraging fishes. Large shockwaves from the impact are now traveling through Earth's crust and they generate huge waves in the overlying bodies of water. As opposed to tsunamis, which radiate outwards from a single point, these side waves originate in confined waters that are shaken by continental disturbances, like a pool during an earthquake. Their remains were entombed when the sediment settled down. And because the hail of the impact spherules continued to fall into this surge, the resulting deposit must have formed within 15 to 30 minutes after the impact. The moment that the fishes preserved in this deposit died, with the impact spherules still stuck in their gills, can therefore be accurately placed to within an hour after the impact. We studied particular bones of these fishes that grew very much like trees do adding a new external layer every year. And just like trees, these rings recorded seasonality. Moreover, yearly fluctuations of the food chain itself can be visualized by looking at the stable carbon isotope ratios of these bones. The sturgeons and paddlefishes that we studied all recorded seasonality over multiple years. Spring, summer, autumn, winter, spring, summer, autumn, winter, spring and then they died. We can therefore infer that the asteroid must have impacted in the spring. But why does the season matter? For many plants and animals, spring is the prime season of growth and reproduction following the harsher winter months. Bear in mind, Northern Hemisphere spring coincides with Southern Hemisphere autumn. Autumn is when many organisms prepare for winter. Plants shed their leaves, Many animals seek shelter. The timing of the Yucatan impact during a particular sensitive stage of biological life cycles will help to explain why some organisms, such as most dinosaurs, died out, while others survived. The Tanis deposit provides a detailed insight into a late Cretaceous ecosystem at the moment of impact. This not only helps us reconstruct the last days of the dinosaurs, but it also offers clues on the mechanisms contributing to future mass extinctions. Thank you for listening.